Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Brandon and I am your online English teacher. This lesson is about pronunciation. We are going to learn one of the most difficult sounds students need to master, the TH sound. So if you are ready, let's get to work. All languages use the lips and the inside of the mouth to form sounds. The human mouth is like a machine. Each mouth part has a special job to do for different sounds of that language. The English language is no different. In English, there are many words with the letters T and H next to each other. It can occur at the beginning, middle, or end of a word. Most of the time, the T and H together form a special sound, which can only be made by putting the tongue between the front teeth, like this. Listen to these words and watch my mouth. This, that, these, those. I know, I know, sticking out your tongue to make words is very, very unusual in your language. In English, it's normal. Don't be afraid to stick out your tongue and don't worry about what other people may think of you. Okay, let's practice. Listen, repeat, and stick out your tongue. This. This. That. That. These. These. Those. Those. This, that, these, those. Wonderful. Here's a good idea. Many students look in a mirror when they practice the TH sound to make sure the tongue is out. It's okay to exaggerate the TH sound in order to improve pronunciation. Let's practice some more. Listen and repeat. Thank you. It is not thank you. It is not thank you. It is thank you. So let's try that one again. Thank you. Thank you. Think. Think. Therefore. Therefore. Thirty. Thirty. Let's practice words that have TH in the middle of the word. Listen and repeat. Something. Although. Brother. Together. Very good. 
Remember, your tongue must be outside. Don't be lazy. The tongue is between the front teeth to correctly say the words. Let's try some words with TH at the end of the word. Listen and repeat. Underneath. Depth. That one is difficult, so let's try it again. Depth. Teeth. North. Okay, now let's practice a word that has the TH sound at the beginning of the word and at the end of the word. Listen and repeat. Thirteenth. Thirteenth. Sometimes a sentence will have a word ending in a TH followed by another word starting with a TH. For example, how do you pronounce these two words together? Well, in quick conversational English, it may sound like only one TH sound, not two. Both theories. However, if you listen very closely, you can hear the two separate TH sounds. And that is how you should practice. Listen and repeat. Both theories. Both theories. Okay, before I go, let's practice a sentence together. This is a very difficult sentence, but it's a good practice. Listen and repeat. Although Martha Thackeray thought Thelma's thimble was thin, she nevertheless threw it in the thistle. That was very good. In a future video, I will discuss the difference between voiced and voiceless TH sounds. Would you like my help with your English? Contact me. Using Skype and a webcam, you can have private online lessons with me. I teach all levels and all ages. And your first 30 minute lesson is free. Goodbye from the USA and good luck with your English studies.